Welcome to the shooting show. This week uh, we're up on the estate at Kinnaird in Perthshire. We've got Norman Mulvaney from Irish Safaris over with us and we're on the crossover between stags and hinds. So two days hunting. Okay, this week we've got a bit of a double header for you. Uh, we're back up uh, in Perthshire on the estate and um, really it was uh, a reciprocation visit. Norman Mulvaney, Irish Safaris, invited me over to Stoke Seeker uh, with him sort of late September. Um, and accordingly we invited him back over for a couple of days with us. But we're really quite busy on stags on the estate. So we tried to tie it in with a crossover. So we got a, the last day of the stags on the 20th and then we moved over onto Hines on the, uh, on the 21st. had the same problem um, that um, I had when I was over in Ireland in that we've still got that really warm uh, weather which really kind of affected rutting behaviour. They tend to be rutting at night when it's cooler and during the day there, there really wasn't the sort of activity that you would normally expect. Quite a strong rut, quite a good rut, some nice stags about but a lot of the activity was taking place at night and you got it for probably the first hour in the morning and then as the temperatures rose, I mean, this is late October, um, it kind of put them off a bit and they were a bit kind of half-hearted. So, so that's kind of what we were faced with. What we'll do is we're going to go, um, there's a fenced area up here, yeah. um, we're going to go up in the dark and just traverse the fence line round, which takes us out to a big open area of hill, yeah. wind's coming off the hill slightly quartering so we'll work up the edge of the fence line okay. and uh, there's usually been one or two young pull stags hanging around with a couple of hinds at the bottom here so if we can get into them early we'll, we'll take one of them yeah. and we'll probably push out further onto the top of the hill where the big stags have been holding up. Mm -hmm. So anyway, we, we headed off onto the hill early. We've got a big forest creation scheme fenced. Um, so I kind of worked around the edge of this fence because there's, there's some nice open areas in the centre of the estate. And the fencing has created the dynamic on the estate because it's actually gone right across a lot of traditional areas where the deer are hefted and they're used to coming on particular routes. It's tended to filtering them up to the edge of the estate and then we're kind of working back in. So. My plan was to move along the fence line early, see if we could see any, any deer, and then work into this central valley where deer tend to uh, lie during the day. I was pretty sure we'd have some stags in there. Now that is a good stag. There's two. There's, there's one below him. Now that one might break off. Fox. Fox is chasing that fox. Yeah. We got into a few deer on the on the on the way out and the one thing that was nice, Norman's actually never heard red deer roaring in the rut, so we managed to rectify that. It was very, very quiet early on and from quite a distance away down in what is actually almost a natural amphitheatre. Um, so two decent stags interacting with a few others on the periphery so real good stuff and we did quite a nice stalk it, it involved just backtracking a little bit and down into some little quarries and some narrow valleys using some bracken and some mounds and we got into a position where we were you know quite a quite a range of shot but we two couldn't point. get any closer that's, that's too far. 
We're going to have a bit of a we're going to have a bit of a set to here. Yeah, it's going. No, I'll leave it going. The lock come. There's two. There's two, they might push over yet. Norman crawled forward onto the edge of the mound, got himself set on the bipod, really comfortable, um, and just waited for the shot. Oh, that's perfect. Just, takes, just needs to take his time. In front of it. In front of it. Everything perfect. Deer stood broadside, um, and, he, and he took the shot. Um, Unfortunately, after which the stag ran away. So he was gutted. Uh, you can imagine having such a lovely stalk, beautiful surroundings, got into a deer and um, boom. His deer that he'd probably already got grallocked and hanging on his wall is still running around in Persia and long may it continue. But really, really nice stalk. Great day out, good company. We had a real laugh. Uh, the banter, as you can imagine, was outstanding. Outstanding. Okay, so the following, uh, the following day, just about finished pulling Norman's leg. Uh, we, we went out, quite a nice afternoon actually, still warm. Uh, went out in the evening and there's a little quiet corner on the estate, which is pretty sheltered, not disturbed much. We'd seen quite a bit of activity on there over the previous sort of stag stalking session. So kind of took Norman into there um, to try and get into a, you know, a hind and a calf or, or a group of hinds that we suspected would probably be coming into that area as the, as the light uh, faded. My intention was just to get laid onto a little bank, get set up and wait for them and let the deer come to us. And actually, as we got to the vantage point, there was a hind and a car already there. Um, so it was relatively straightforward for Norman to, again to crawl just in front of me onto the peat hag. three minutes now just to settle down beautiful evening certainly not seasonal uh, and then we'll go and uh, just locate the hind good girl good girl that's a calf <laughs> thank you very very much Okay, that's a nice end to a couple of days. Norman's made the long journey over to us to look for a Scottish red stag in the roar, and we've heard him roaring a bit, just unseasonally mild, a bit like it was when I was over in Ireland. Yeah. And, and um, nice stalk this evening. And I mean, we're on the 21st of October, and we're actually getting bitten by midges, believe it or not. Um, it is incredible. We could have stalked this evening in a t-shirt, but beautiful, beautiful time to be out. Um, lovely scenery, good company. Then there's Norman. Um, 
And really this is me reciprocating because Norma very kindly hosted me on a, on a few days on a seeker over in this place so we thought we'd bring him over to Scotland and do the same. Not a bad couple of days. No, I had a good time. Um, it's been the first time actually up over, up on the Highlands as such. Well, not on the Highlands, but it's up on the Hillstock. Yeah, you're on the edge of it. it was a fantastic know. experience just going up through the glens and hearing all these names like Bonnie and Corries and Crags and everything. And a lot of walking today. Sore, sore legs. But um, yeah, it was worth it. Yeah, I've had a good time. I'll be back next year again. Oh, <laughs> You'll bleep that. <laughs> we will get the bike and get these back in then. Okay, that's it for this week. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Remember, please like us on the social media platforms. And if you're not a member of Basque, it's time to join. Looking after your sport, looking after you. This has been The Shooting Show. <laughs>